Okay, so in this example, we are going to find the reactions at A and reactions at B. So if we are going to draw the reactions for A and B, we'll assume a direction and this will be this is our RA and this will be a R, B, Y component and R, B, X component. So, to solve for that, we will first take moment wherein most of the unknowns will be eliminated. So, let, we'll, let us take moment at this point. So, take moment at B. And in statics, summation of all the moments at B should be equal to 0. So, what are the, mo the forces involved? We have 1, 2, 3, and 4. Okay, so let's start. So, we will have 600 multiplied by 12. And that will create a negative. So, a counterclockwise direction. And then we have 240. That's a plus. So, it will create a clockwise direction. 240 multiplied by moment arm 16. And then we have another, a positive RA multiplied by the moment arm, which is 24. And then we have 400. And that will create a counterclockwise multiplied by 12 times 3. So, we have 36. And that would be equal to 0. And so, manipulating this one, our answer for reaction at A would be So, RA would be 17760 divided by 24 and the reaction at A would be 740 pounds. So, this will be our RA. Okay, so next thing is we get B. It's either RBY or RBX. So, if we are going to take moment at A, so take the moment at A, take clockwise as positive so take moment here we have force one two three and four this will have a zero moment arm so we will start with 240 multiplied by 16 having a clockwise then we have a plus 600 times 12 then we have minus rby times that is 24 and then we have a minus 400 times 12 equals to 0. So manipulating all of this, we can get our RBY as... Okay, so we have 6240 divided by 24 and so we have 260 pounds. So that would be our RBY. Okay? So, what would be RBX? If you are going to analyze this whole structure, the only component with along the x-axis, the only force with the component along the x-axis is 240. So, it would be safe to assume that RBX, RBX is equal to 240 pounds. So, let us check if this would be correct how to check that so we could either take any um, point of uh, moment any moment center whether it's d or e which will have a moment arm with respect to the rbx so it could either be d or e so uh, we can choose e Okay, so if we're going to take the moment at E, then we we are gonna um, consider only 1, 2, 3, and 4 forces. These two will uh, not have any moment arm. Okay, so positive as uh, clockwise moment effect. 
So, we'll start with RBX multiplied by its moment arm would be 16 and it will create a clockwise. Then we have a counterclockwise effect RBY times 12 and then we have a clockwise effect plus RA multiplied by 12 and then we have a counterclockwise 400 multiplied by 24 equals to 0 so let's see RBX times 16 RBY times 12 then RA times 12 then we have 400 times 24 manipulating this one we already have values for RBY and RA so we have RBX is equal to over 16 this value is transposed to the right okay so we have 3840 divided by 16 and the answer would be equal to 240 pounds so we now have our final answers so rbx 240 to 260 rby is 260 and our a reaction at a is 740 pounds so we have checked the assumption of our rbx which is equals to 240 so that would be all